Welcome back, it's Wikipedia, and last but not least, the Survivalist. So, the Survivalist class is probably one of the most underrated classes out there. You definitely don't bring a lot to the team right at surface level from what it looks like. But there are diff certain ways for you to shine as a team member. Now... <clears throat> Uh, let's go through the first talent. Insulation, heat and cold. What? Now what's the big deal? 25 insulation is a puffer coat. You can go right into the winter zone right off the bat once you get, you know, you're, I guess, level 20 technically, but even earlier, and you have uh, access to a few things. I believe you get jerky at level 4, so as soon as you hit level 10, jerky is also quite underrated. Jerky. Uh, you have to dry the meat on a tailoring bench with a, uh, whatever the tanning rack is. Uh, and it takes five raw meat, and it's not an incredible food or anything, but it has a new buff to it. So it's just ten food, five water, ten max dam, and there's no cooldown on it like some of the other stuff. doesn't give any wellness, but it gives 25 heat and cold. And then decreases the food and water usage to regenerate your stamina. It's actually a really good food to give to people like your mechanic while he's wrenching or your miner while he's mining. I also think that they increase the stamina on um, gutting animals with a knife, so even your hunter would want this because you know, he'll use less food and water while skinning all the bone piles and stuff that he finds around. Uh, but with that, like that's that's another puffer coat or you know a, a cowboy hat worth of... Uh, heat protection so you can go into the desert or the winter biomes right away and not really suffer any ill effects uh, Once you're level 10 and then you can have that double loot stage in the winter, you know uh, You can get there early. You can even stay away from your team a little earlier uh, To just be out there looting early and you can make your own place. You're pretty self-sufficient <clears throat> With the talents that you have you oftentimes Shrug off illnesses. I believe that also works with infections or broken arms and things like that. Any pills that you find in the garbage or whatever, they have less chance to have withdrawal symptoms and you they're more effective. They don't dehydrate you so much. And then the well-maintained is a real sleeper. So 50% tool degradation and weapon degradation. You don't need as many repair kits and things like that. Now, one thing I didn't realize that this stacks with things like structural brace and diamond tips. So when you're looking at a diamond tip mod that is a 40% reduction and then you have a talent for 50%, it's actually a 90% reduction in durability loss. So if I were to run this auger without any modifications versus a survivalist with a diamond tip, his will last 10 times longer. I will burn through 10 augers before he finishes his one. Um, the augers or bladed weapons and tools, they last an incredibly long time. Um, I'm actually not sure, but with a tempered blade and a diamond tip with well-maintained, you might not actually take durability. I haven't even checked that. You might have indestructible knives, uh, axes, etc. Uh, definitely something to test, but it's a very, very strong talent because it stacks with those things. Um, and then once you're a master survivalist, make sure that you make the the mega crushes for your team. It's really great for corpse running. Large backpacks is great for the storage on people. Survival torch is kind of a miss. Um, biofuel gas can. Gunpowder bundle, so you get a discount on gunpowder. And uh, the other one is the signal flare. So the, the signal flare, we never actually made one, but I did test it. It's actually quite expensive, because, unless you don't have a person who uses shotgun shells. The 250 paper is a pretty big ask, but once you have enough high enough game stage to get master books from airdrops, this is free airdrops. Free. So you can, it basically just starts a quest and you go and it just spawns an airdrop with zombies all around it. You don't actually have to defend it like it says. So like it says, it'll also call zombies and... <clears throat> It says you have to fight the five, kill five zombies. You don't actually have to. You can just fail the mission. Uh, is just loot the airdrop and run away. 
So definitely a very good thing if you have an excess of paper. Crafting paper is not very easy, but Master of Survivalist is quite good. Um, and then you also get an increase by 10 on crafting your cloth, leather, scrap iron, steel armor. So uh, if you don't have somebody who can unlock titanium armor as a security guy, it's nice to have some nice high-level steel armor. So you're kind of the armor crafter guy. You'll get another uh, 10 from finishing your quest. Um, but yeah, kind of a sleeper class. Definitely better than I thought. The uh, uh, You pair really well with potentially a scavenger. Uh, if they wanted to, if like if you were to find a puffer coat right around level, t level 10, you and that scavenger could go start doing missions in a winter town early. And that loot bonus, it doesn't sound like much, but it really is. Like, even at level 10, um, adding 10 and doubling your loot stage is pretty huge. Uh, and then the scavenger's going to get an even larger bonus because of their perks. So, um, definitely a, a very sleeper class I don't think it provides as much to the team as most people would want uh, not like the farmer laborer type thing or mechanic but uh, definitely not the worst uh, thank you all for watching and uh, have a great time playing